जय मसी तथा नमस्ते संपूर्ण नेपाली भाषा बोले दाजु भाई तथा दीदी बहनी आज तब तो बीच में म अत्यंत 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 खुशी को खबर लेकर उपस्थित भू आज हमीर को बीच में एकजा गेस्ट हो जो लमो समयदी प्रभु म समर्पित जीवन बिताऊद प्रभु परमेश्वर को राज्य र धार्मिकता को विस्तार को निति वचन प्रचार करते सुसमाचार सुनाऊ आने तो भाग अगड़ी आज को टक शो में जानू भाग अगड़ी मैं अनुरोध करना चाहूँ इस हो फर लिविंग अनुग्रह यूट्यूब चैनल सब्सक्राइब कर दिन हो रजिक आने बेलाइकन में दबाई हमें उत्साह को निम्ति प्रेरित कर ये ये भिडियो को नोटिफिकेसन प्राप्त कर सर्वप्रथम सब भाई तैयार प्रिय मित्र आज हमीर को बीच में होबंजलिस जोशवा स्वीडेन बट हो आज म मेरे जीवनक पेलो अनुभव र मेरे जीवनक पेलो चोटी इंटरनेशनल रूप में चाहे इंटरव्यू लिंद यो इंटरव्यू चाहे इंग्लिश में रहने वास्तव में मेरे नेटिव लैंग्वेज बने को नेपाली हो नेपाली को टंग कारण मेरे प्रनाउंसिएसन रो शब्द उच्चारण में मिस्टेक होना सूल गलती होना सेस को लगी मेमा मग्दु यो मेरे पेलो कोशिश रह तब सब हेदिन अभी सकद सेयर कर दून हो भिडियो अत्यंत राम होने ये भिडियो कति मन को जीवन परिवर्तन कराने तैयार को मन में भग कतिपय कोईसन तब एसर प्राप्त करूने आशा छिडियोला मन पाईदी होने जति सब सेयर कर चैनल सब्सक्राइब कर दिन रंत में म फिर भन्न चाहूँ यह मेरे पेलो प्र प्रयास रहे पेलो कोशिश रहे इंटरनेशनल रूप में मेरे इंटरव्यू आज रहे म इंटरव्यू लिना जु एवंजलिस जोशवा को वहाँ स्वीडेन बट होनी वहाँ को नेटिव लैंग्वेज स्वीडिश भाग कारण कुने वर्ड उच्चारण करना के घटी कमी आन सामीर क्षमा कर दिन हमी सकद कोशिश करने आशा से तब भिडियो मन पाईदी होने लेट्स गो आवर टक स्टेशन थैंक यू सो मच फर कमिंग थैंक यू सो ब्लेस टू हेव यू विथ माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे इज विक्टोरी येस एंड टुडे आई एम सो ग्रेसफुल थैंक यू सो मच फर कमिंग थैंक यू सो मच फर इन्वाइटिंग मी आई एम सो हेप्पी फर दिस डे दिस इज अ ग्लोरियस डे द सन इज शाइनिंग आउटसाइड एंड आई एम सो हेप्पी टू बी हेयर दिस वेन आई हेयर दिस सॉन्ग साइन I remember the old woman. She called me sunshine. Yes, <laughs> yes, so yes. wonderful. Yeah. And how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Yes. Uh, this is uh, now spring here, yes. and uh, when you when I drove here, you see the leaves start yes. going out. And uh, yes, I am uh, happy. And uh, this week has been good. And um, yes, I'm looking forward to this meeting. Wow. Uh, and how is family? Uh, family is good. Yes. Uh, family is very good. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, uh. It's so blessed to hear this. Yeah. And how is going on these days? Yes. Uh, you know, I am uh, in, with my church. I am uh, praying for people. Uh, they call me, and uh, we have prayer meetings, and and then I, and I run a company. You know, yes. I have a construction company, and it go very well. A lot of work here in Sweden. Now. We bless this company. In Thank you, thank you very much. And we are going to talk about today law of God. Yes. How wonderful these words. Yes. This subject is a very big subject. Yes. Good. Subject. We're going to try and see how we can do it. And you are the first guest in my YouTube channel, uh -huh. and this is my first interview with international ministry. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh -huh. So happy to be here. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to start. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Is in the Bible there is any describing about love? Mm -hmm. And what is the Bible? Uh, the Bible, the Bible is the world word of God, and the Bible is actually a love story. Wow. This is a love story from God to all humans, all humankind, and the story is that God loves us. This wow. is the wonderful magic. God loves us. He, he created us. Mm -hmm. He created us and he loves us. Mm -hmm. and, and this is so wonderful. This is so marvelous that he loves us. Wow. 
God loves everyone in the whole world. Wow. In the whole world. Yes. He loves me, He loves you, yes. and you out there. He loves you too. He loves everyone. This is, this is beyond comprehended that God can love everyone. It's a sort of wonderful thing. Yes. And the Bible, it teaches us a love story that says that uh, this is the good news. Yes. The good news is that God loves you. He loves you and He loves me. Yes. He loves everyone in the whole world yes. and He has done something. Yes. This is good news. Wow. He has saved us. Wow, we're really exciting to hear this. Yes. And the, God, the gospel is a love story. Yes. And, uh, and he, he loves us despite mm. humans' rebellions against God. Uh -huh. Despite my sin, I do wrong sometimes, you do wrong, and we are doing wrong, and, and mankind do wrong. Yes. And despite that, God loves us. And He wants to help us. He wants to save us. Wow. And, and human people do wicked things. Yeah. But God has a way out. Oh. He has an answer. Oh. He has a solution wow. on this problem. Wow. And this solution is Christ. Wow, it's uh, absolutely amazing. Yes. And it's such a nice thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can see, standing on the Bible, there is different kind of laws. I think there is four different kind of law. Yes. And what is the greatest law? Yes. Uh, in the Bible, in, in English language, they say, I love you. Yes. I love this food. I love the weather. I love, love, love. Yes. But in, in Greek, it's... It described it is like four kind of love. Wow. Yes. What is this? Uh, we can start with storage. Okay. You can, my pronunciation is, is not maybe the, the right, yeah, but you, you can write it up later yes. how it spells. But <laughs> absolutely the same. Our <laughs> okay. native language is totally different. Yes. <laughs> but it's a, a storage. That is family love. Yeah. Is that within the family? And this kind of love is the first commitment that has a, has a promise to, uh, to it. It's love your mother and father and you shall live long. And the, with these brothers and sisters within the family. And this is also the plan of God. Yes. Yeah, he yeah. created Adam and Eva to yes. be together. Yes. Oh. And this is a, a, another kind of love mm. between a woman mm. and a man mm. who is married. Yeah. This is a wonderful love. Mm. It's called Eros. Uh -huh. it's, it's a sensual love. Mm. And too bad sin have corrupted this kind of love. Yeah, absolutely. So, but between a man and a wife mm. who is married, mm. this is a wonderful love yeah. that God uh, want a man and a woman to love each other with this kind of love, mm. with mm. with uh, 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 help from God. Yeah, yeah. So but God, without getting married, uh, this called we can say adultery or sin. Yes, and this is not good. This yes. is the, this is not what God, God plans. He he said that the the, the man should leave the uh, the family and find a wife and they will come one fresh, yeah, yeah. one fresh. So I want to show you all guys, this type of love we can see in the whole world, anywhere. But there is love, this between husband and wife. This is awesome and beautiful. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for this also. And mm -hmm. other? Yes. Um, in the Bible, it describes something with filial. No. This is friendship. This is super. Uh, 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 this is kind of love that described between Jonathan mm. and uh, David. David. Yes. Yes. Uh, in the Bible, mm. and they they um, they love with others uh, this kind, mm. and also 
uh, when when the, um, uh, when Jesus uh, asked Peter, mm. "Do you love me, mm -hmm. Peter?" and he, he and Peter uh, uh, he he answered uh, 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 Jesus, "You know Jesus. Yeah. You know I feel you. Oh. You. Wow. I love you." Yes. But Jesus, he actually wanted another kind of answer. Mm. Uh, and he asked it again, uh -huh. do you love me? Uh -huh. And he said, yes, you know I feel you, mm -hmm. you I love you. Mm -hmm. And the, the answer he really wanted, mm -hmm. but G Peter didn't know this kind of love yet, but he will know it mm -hmm. from now on. He said that he wanted, you know, I agape you. Mm -hmm. I love you with a supernatural love, with God's kind of love. And this is the fourth, yeah. agape love. Wow. Is this the greatest love? This is the, this is the greatest love. This is kind of God's love. And this love, we don't have. No. You don't have it. I don't have it. Uh, no one has it. Uh -huh. It's only a thing that God ha has it. Mm. But He wants us to receive this love. Uh -huh. He wants us to receive. Uh -huh. And how you receive this love mm. is by receiving the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. We can say easily people will understand Holy Spirit. Yes. Many people they don't uh, know about this Holy Ghost. No. You can say them to understand easily Holy Spirit. Yeah, Holy Spirit. Yes. 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 What kind of love is God love us? Many people, you know, they don't know about this. Is there any love God will love us? And people, you know, they are they don't understand about these things. Yes. Uh, God's love is a supernatural love. Mm. Uh, uh, we don't know this love uh, uh, before we read the Bible. Uh -huh. Then we can read the Bible and the Bible, the, the scripture, it teaches us about this kind of love. Mm. And, and, and in the Bible it describes it like this, uh, love is not consistent that we love God. Uh -huh. But love is consistent by he loves us. Oh, uh -huh. yes. This is kind of love. So if you think, so, well, I don't love. Mm. True. Mm. But this is not. The love is that God, God loves us. Mm. And he has proven. Mm. As he has showed that he, he, he loves us. By that Jesus died on the cross when we were yet still sinners. Yeah, we can say on selfishness. Yes. Yes. Because of all this love, we can say easily also, there is people say true love, true love. But in the world, in the human beings, we cannot uh, love truly between each other. No, there is uh, uh, something they expected each other. Yes. But God loves on selfishness. On selfishness. Without love. expectation. Without expectation. Uh -huh. And this is a supernatural love. Yes. Well, and it's so wonderful that, that when you love, when you meet this kind of love, mm -hmm. that God loves me. Mm -hmm. In spite of I did wrong, mm -hmm. I go astray, mm -hmm. but God draws me near to Him in this kind of love and he surrender us with this kind of love he always says come to me come to me wow. i will help you yes. i will help you and and this is uh, 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 when you receive this love you have to take you have to receive christ yeah. Without Christ, this love is impossible. Impossible. Yeah. There is a way we can receive this love. We, we have to believe Jesus Christ. Also. Yes. As the Lord and my Savior. Yes. yes. You have to believe that God sent His Son to the world to die for my sins, mm. for your sins, for the whole sins of the whole world. Mm. He died and he, he, he was put on the cross and he, will, he, he died for our sins. Uh -huh. And if we believe in that, we get saved. Wow. And we became righteous yes. in, in front of God. Absolutely. How can we know that God loves us? 
many people they say so oh, there is no god and god uh, you know there is no love of god and how we can tell them these people who have these questions how we can know that god loves us well the god says and, and the bible says mm -hmm. that 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 we we have to believe the scripture. Mm -hmm. I cannot go with, I, I feel that God loves me. I feel that God lo loves me. And sometimes you don't feel it, mm -hmm. uh, 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 maybe. Mm -hmm. And then if you think that you're going to feel it, mm -hmm. then you get the question, wow, do I still love me today? Mm -hmm. I don't feel it today. And tomorrow, I feel it. I can, I can feel that God's love. And next day, I don't feel it. Has he, have he disappeared now? Does he still loves me? But the scripture said that his love is everlasting. Wow. It's everlasting love. It never. And he says, he said that the, 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 the apostle, Paulus, he said that I am sure about one thing I am sure about that nothing, 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 he said that not death, not life. Uh, no angels, mm. no kings, mm. nothing that now is, nothing that is to come, mm -hmm. no powers, mm -hmm. no height or length mm -hmm. or depths or anything else created shall be able to separate, separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, if I do something wrong, if I come short, if it's hanging on me, mm -hmm. I will get worried. But it's not on me. Mm -hmm. It's on God. It's on Christ. Mm -hmm. He will never... He hold on to you. Uh -huh. So you don't need to hold on to Him, you know. If, if, if it was on me, oh, and I'm... Oh, no, I don't, He don't love me. But it's not God holds on to us. Uh -huh. He hold us. Uh -huh. If you come to Him, he will grab you. And then no one can... Obviously. No one can separate. And this is so good that you can have... have you know, you can have... Um, uh, 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 rest. Mm. Rest in this. Mm. It's a wonderful to have rest. Yeah. In, 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 in the love of God. Yes. And then the question is, why do we need God loves? Uh, why? Because... God demands us to love each other. Mm -hmm. God demands us to live a sinful, uh, 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 not a sinful life, sin-free, mm -hmm. without... And it's impossible for you mm -hmm. and me and to anyone to live this Christian life that God wants everybody to live. Mm -hmm. uh, to live this God, this life that God commands, you have to receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You have to receive God's kind of love. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot live the Christian life. You cannot live this life that the Bible says that we, He wants us to live. You need help. And therefore, He sent a helper, the Holy Spirit. That is our help. Yes. So let you know that without Holy Spirit, you cannot live Christian life. So, if you want to be Christian life in your life, so you have to have Holy Spirit. How you can receive Holy Spirit? First, you need to receive gospel and you need to understand the scripture of God. So, after that, with Holy Spirit, you will live Christian life. That is possible. Yes. Yes. And Five, the question is, uh, what does God teach about love? And uh, how does Jesus define love? Okay. Love is not a feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, love is doing. It's something you do. Mm -hmm. Love is a verb. Uh, God did something. Uh -huh. God commanded His love toward us mm -hmm. when we yet were stiller. Mm -hmm. Christ died for us. So love is not a feeling, but when I love you, mm -hmm. and I do the good things to you, mm -hmm. and I show it, mm -hmm. then it creates feelings. Mm -hmm. You feel good. Wow. So it's not the feeling that is, uh, when you do a deeds, it creates feelings, and then you feel I'm loved. Yes. 
and you and you and when I give you love, then I feel this feeling as a result of my deeds. Uh -huh. That is love. Yes. That created feelings that you feel love, that you feel that you love somebody. Yes. So, and he's standing here in uh, first uh, uh, first Johannes, and I'm going to say that uh, here. Uh, and or phrasing, but in deeds and truth, and and standing not with words. Of course, you shall tell people that you love them and, and 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 say nice things. But the Bible said that you should first show your love with deeds mm -hmm. and in truth, uh -huh. and then you can say nice words that fall, follow that. Uh -huh. But just not to say nice words and not, never do anything, mm -hmm. this is not how God wants it. Yeah. He wants us to show the love. Yeah, yeah. We need to do. Do. Yes. yes. Not only see. Not only see. Yes. And actually, before that, in seven, I can say this. If you have all the words uh, uh, money, mm -hmm. and you have the, the, the words, uh, you are able to help people, and you see somebody, a brother or sister or something that is in, in need, mm. and you don't help them. Mm. And the God said, how can the love of God be in your life? Mm. If, you, I, I have, if I am able to help you, mm. and I see you suffer and need something, mm. and I just close my heart and don't help you, mm. this is not love. Mm -hmm. But if you are able to help neighbor or something else, and, and you, have, you, you see them that they need help, and you can provide the help, mm. and you don't do it, this is not love. Mm. But if you help them, and, and, and this is kind of love, this is uh, in deeds and in truth. Amen. Amen. Yes. Is anything in the Bible described about love? Yes. We can read that in Cor Corinthians. Yeah. And this is the first Corinth 1 thir 13. Okay, I'm going to read it that love is patient, mm -hmm. love is kind, mm -hmm. is not boasted, mm -hmm. or, or is don't, uh, 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 is don't uh, try to get he, what he, he himself wants, mm. is not uh, get e uh, anger, mm -hmm. it don't count the evil things. Mm -hmm. But it, it has its joy in righteousness. Amen. And this kind of love is, is endure everything, mm. is believe everything, mm. is hope everything. It never fails. Amen. This is kind of love. Wow. So it doesn't matter what kind of situation you are in. Yes. And it doesn't matter how you are in, in me. The, the, the love of God, it believes everything. Yes. It endures everything. It's conquered everything. Yes. So it's only it's, it's always hope in the love of God. Amen. Amen. And the question of six, the love of God is only for those who believe in Christ or for all peoples who live in this world. Because the, there are so many people. They thought uh, like the uh, love of God is only for the Christian who believe in Jesus Christ. What do you think? And what you can say to those people who have these questions? Uh, this is a very good question because many people say that when well, I don't feel that God loves me. Mm -hmm. So, but the Bible teaches us that God loves everyone. Mm -hmm. But to, to receive this love, you have to take believe in Christ. Mm -hmm. And when you believe in Christ, something happens, you will be born again. And the Holy Spirit comes inside you and dwells with inside you. And this happens when He comes in the heart, then the love of God starts supernatural, produces inside you, and then you feel. So, so it's true that God loves everybody, but to receive this kind of thing, you need to receive Christ mm. and the Holy Spirit. Mm. So, yes. yes. The answer is God loves all the people who are in this earth. But 
if you need to receive this love, you need to receive Jesus Christ. And then you will receive this love by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. It's a sort of wonderful. Yes. And, and, and the Bible teaches also you, you, should, you should do everything you can to receive this kind of love as much as you can. Uh -huh. So, so when you, the Christian is life is to become more like Jesus, mm -hmm. more love. Yes. And and that that uh, is you go from from God makes you more holy, and when you walk with life, God, He will cut off things. Uh, 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 branches mm -hmm. like a tree, yeah. you cut off those branches that don't bear fruit yes. so you can bear more fruit. Yeah, yeah. So this is when you walk with God, when you became a Christian and have this walk, He will help you to grow in the Spirit, mm -hmm. to grow in Christ, that, yeah. God's, that Christ became bigger, bigger and you smaller, smaller. Not your personality, but the the the, the 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 bad things with us yeah. is going to get smaller, wow. and the good things with you, your personality, your gifts bloom. will bloom <laughs> in 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 love. Yes. And the only thing that can uh, can bloom is in love. Wow. So this is this is what, what we and this this you cannot do without yourself. But God will help you. You pray, God help me now to love my neighbor. God help me to love my wife. Yes. God help me to grow in the spirit and become like Jesus. Amen. And the last question is, how can we promote God loves? Okay. Uh, uh, God, the, the golden rule is how you want people to treat with you. How you, do you want people to be with you when you don't have any money, when you don't have any food? Mm -hmm. How won't you be treated of your friends, mm -hmm. by your, by your uh, uh, at work, mm -hmm. uh, in church? Uh -huh. And how you want people to be like with you, mm -hmm. then you should be with them. Mm -hmm. And this is one kind of thing you should do. And also to promote God's love is to, 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 to share the gospel. Oh, wow, this is the first key of the promote God. Yes, this is a wonderful thing. If you have met God and met His love, and you tell somebody else about what you have experienced with God, with God, the love of God, and you get saved, then you want to tell anybody else about this wonderful love that you have received, how He has helped you, how He has saved you, and He has done in your life, then you you, you share the gospel, the good news to others. This is how you can promote the, the love of God. Thank you so much. It's such a wonderful preaching. Mm. And would you like to say something to, to our audience? Yes, I, I am. Uh, yes, I want to share this that uh, I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so happy for your channel. I have been following it. Yeah, and. It's wonderful what you do for your your uh, for uh, your people and your country, and you are here in Sweden. I, and I know you you are you are having your ministry and your work, yes. and you you are doing a lot of things for the kingdom of God. And and um, I, I bless you and I bless your ministry, and I'm looking forward to see what God will do for you in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your presence and thank you so much. You teach us very mm. good things in love of God. I think our audience satisfied. And yes. They know what is the God loves mm. and why we need God loves. Mm. I think they get the answer of what they have. Yes. Okay. And it's so blessed. Mm -hmm. First interview, it's uh, so amazing. I'm so Thank happy so that much. I could be the first one. And, yeah. and I think you're going to have many good guests here. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, shall we pray for these situations? Yes. In Nepal and India, Sweden. Mm. Let's thank. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. I thank you, Lord God, for that you love us. That you have so great love for us that no one knows the depths, the height, the length and the width of your supernatural love. Now I pray for each of everyone that listen now 
that they will receive you, Christ. Yes. They receive the Holy Spirit and the love of God. We, we send the love of God over every one of them out there. I, I bless everyone, everyone that they're going to receive the, uh, the, the, the love of God now in their spirit. Agape love, the supernatural love that is produced by the Holy Spirit in our heart. Yes. In Jesus' name. And we, we pray now for Nepal. Yes. And this is a hard time now, God. And we, we, we pray now that you're going to help everyone there now during these hard times. And you protect them and you help them. And we bless them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful moment. And we are so blessed. I thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit. And I pray for Nepal and India and Sweden. And this coronavirus is go away from these countries and bless them who are suffering this COVID-19, this yes. pandemic. And heal them, give a healthy life and long life. This virus will go soon in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Mm. And remember, God loves you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, brother. Brother. See you soon. See you soon. And God bless. Yes.